wore red lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody asked me that last time. Right. Yeah, you know, it's to, only right. It's totally, yes. you know, up to you. I don't like to force anybody to do anything. I didn't even think about it. I feel like red doesn't look good on me. Like, I haven't found my shade of red. Oh, I have my red. So we'll have to... Ruby Woo. No yeah. Ruby Woo does I no one wrong. I need my shade. So as you all can already see, these <laughs> lovely young ladies. Mm -hmm. These lovely young ladies are Avery, nineteen thirty-six. Yeah. And this is again the Red Lip Chronicles, which is our monthly conversation that we do. I am Joy Randall, the beauty influencer, and uh, this conversation is where I feature cool ass people who <laughs> operate in their gifts and talent. And I just wanted to everybody to start getting to know the people that I know. Yeah, I like and um, I'm excited to have you, ladies. So thank, thank you. you for being thank here. You. So thank nice. You. Yes. So we're gonna just jump right on into it and let the folks know who you are. So of course, Avery 1936 is your brand name, your business name. Mm -hmm. Jewelry designers, fabulous jewelry designers. Aww, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here is the <laughs> firecracker. Hence the red hair. Um, and so, yes, but you are two different young ladies. Your yes. sister. As you can kind of see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sour. 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 Netta and Jasmine. Yes, yes. yes. You want to introduce yourself first? Well, I'm Shanetta. I'm the oldest of us. Um, are you? Yes. I don't know why I how 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 many years do you think we're apart? Maybe two. Yeah, like I'll be nice. We're three years. Okay. But you know, we're it's three. Like three and a half. I don't know why she be trying to put extra time. Anybody can do simple math. 1990, oh, 1994. I'll get technical. Case closed. Whatever. It's Place, like three and a half. Her in December. I'm in May. Whatever. So like See, you get too half. technical with this. See, logic. <laughs> just, three years and six months. You know, <laughs> logic. Me, it is what it is. You know? Whatever. Yes, sure. but I'm Netta. I'm the oldest of us, too. Um, yes. Okay. Yes. I'm Jasmine. Um, the youngest of us two. Um, <laughs> sisters, let's see. Um, I don't know. We just, I'm just jazz. Yes. I think we're very, jazz. we're individual. We're very different, but in some kind of way, like we're just one. Yeah. And I didn't get like that until we got older. Oh, like yeah. growing up, sure. you would think we were super, super close. We were like so different. So like different in what we like to do. What interests us? We yeah. really didn't like start realizing the power of our sisterhood I until like Which I graduated high school. Graduated high school. school. I did your makeup for yeah, the prom. For yes. Well, technically, it was Bria's junior prom. My ten, I was in tenth grade. Uh -huh. That's my first time I met you. Uh -huh. yeah. That's so crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I remember yeah. coming to the studio. It was over there in Noda. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I know that you know. So I know a few things about you ladies, and we talked about like mm -hmm. the name of how you even came up with the name of uh -huh. Marie 1930. So let's just talk about like what you do first of all through the brand. For those who don't know you, I know mm -hmm. you have gold jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yes, so all gold jewelry is just something that we just said that it's going to be our tribute to our grandmother because that's who our brand is after. She only wore gold jewelry and that's the only thing that she gifted us. She hated was, silver. Yeah, she did not like silver for some reason. I don't reason. hate silver, but I'm definitely a gold. Girl. Yeah. She's like she, she was it. she would say I hate silver. <laughs> <laughs> so gold I mean at first when we first started our brand, because our brand has went from like chokers to what it is now. Like we were it was all we over thought the place. we wanted to do we thought we wanted to do needed jewelry. Like we were just like we just gotta do something. And then I was like, well, our brand's after our grandma, so why would we not do something that she loved and she took so much pride in? It's like gold just made her feel like royalty. Mm -hmm. It's like the only thing that she would wear. That's so it's like, like, oh my yeah, God, I black, beautiful. just black people wearing gold, you just feel like royal, you know, like not the ones that be wearing that. <laughs> but just like you know, you have tasteful, classic. timeless looks. Like gold looks like the bracelet, the ring, she the necklace, the earring. Too, like. like it was just you know, you just look at that person and be like, oh my god, like you just look so nice. And yeah. it's just like simple. I know I definitely like fell in love with what y'all were doing. Um, just through Instagram, of course mm -hmm. I follow you guys on Instagram, and you guys are doing some really big things, which Thank we will you. talk Thank about. You. Thank you. Um, but just fell in 
love with like the marketing, the what the clean look that it oh had. Oh my gosh, you know, you don't the know how hard. that is the I think tapping into a business, um, learning to market is one of the hardest things. Uh, and being con- everything. It is right, so hard right. and to find the consistency. So when people say, Oh my gosh, you look so good and I don't know, because I run our social media. So I don't know if it's because I you look such at a good it. Job. Mm-hmm. I, I think I look at it too long, and I'm like, Shanette, how does it look? And she's like, this look good? I'm like, no, it don't. Let me go back and change it. It's like staying consistent. It's I'm pretty so obsessed with myself, so don't feel bad. She's obsessed with, oh, like, kind of perfectionist. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm... Be, be, I don't know like, like, it has to be in three. Yeah. Mine, it has to be Yes. So, I mean, I think I'm more OCD. I think she more... I don't even know if it's, like, a difference. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm so structured. Like, I feel like I have to be like, okay, Jasmine... What are we doing here, here, and here? Well, you're the Sagittarius and you're the Taurus. You know, we always get into talking about the signs yes. when we get to chatting anyway. So yes. you have the boxes, you know, things have to be structured. Right, right. Yeah. And then Taurus is, you guys just, like my dad's a Taurus, y'all have to, like, study it. Yeah, you yeah, You know, like, yeah. to the nth degree. So. I have, I, yeah, I have to know the ins and outs of something. Or at least I don't feel like I'm been truly successful in it mm-hmm. if I have not conquered all sides of it or just I will know agree. everything about it like yeah. even um and it's so hard for me I'm still learning <laughs> to like let go like controlling wise because I feel like my perfectionist it kind of but it serves you to that yeah, it serves yeah. you I mean I think well let's go back to the fact that you went to go see Beyonce in Atlanta last night. <laughs> Talk about perfectionism. <laughs> you know, like, the perfect segue into that. I so mean, nothing went wrong. Yeah. Nothing went wrong. Like, she's a... I mean, the show, awesome. Anybody who goes see that show, please go see it. Like, I think mm-hmm. more so, you you know all the songs. Of How course. many necklaces did you have to put down? Uh, like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> no. Those were hot. Even they were expensive, but, were, I mean, like, I was up there. Because to be on the floor, that was like starting out at a thousand. Mm-hmm. And you're not even near the stage. So no, I was. For my up. first Beyonce concert. Um, not the Mrs. Carter. The, was that the Lemonade? No. What did she do? Lemonade. Whichever one. I don't know. I, paid, was, I was on the floor and I paid like four or something. Yeah. But the one, <laughs> but I will say it was an experience, and I kind of like my first concert. I was like recording a lot, so that taught me to just like live in the moment, especially moments like that. That yeah. especially like you know who's gonna spend for or who has four hundred dollars? At least we, you know we don't right now all the time to spend on a concert ticket. So just embrace that moment. I think to be able, like to be present is something so powerful especially with i think that's like a double thing like though because that. it's just like of course you with their show is so it. individual you just never know when you're gonna see something like this again true like it's just like oh my god i have to i'm gonna look but i have to at least get some part but of then it. you can go back like, and say like oh dang i didn't even catch that i mean i think you have, have to have a perfect up, you have to have a perfect balance get her doing the thank leg or whatever <laughs> no, 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 yeah you i think you have to have a perfect balance of it but last night seeing their show I think I fell more in love with, like, the visual presentation of, like, them Mm -hmm. documenting when they were photographing Jamaica. And they actually, like, did, like, a mini movie out there. And just, like, the story without words, but just through, like, art. Like, I never knew they were so big on art. And, like, you can just tell they really take their craft serious. And they really are creative with it. And, I mean, of course, the concert, they perform together. She performs separately. He performs separately. But you can just tell how one they are that's when it comes to their show. That's the thing you said about them um, being, like, they perfect their craft. I mean, that's with anything in life. Yes. Like, anything that you're passionate about. Yeah, for and sure. And even being a business owner. Like, if you don't have that dedication or that passion to, you know, expand it, like, it's, it's not gonna only work. just a dream. Right. It for can real. never be Definitely. a reality. So... So, do you ladies mind if I ask how old you are? Yes. Okay. Do you do mind? No, like, you can ask me. No, no. I just had that. Do you mind? No, no, no. Yes, I'm 27. Yes. Yes, 27. I'll be 28 this year. Close to 30. <laughs> but you know, I'm fine. Mm-hmm. I'm great with that. Really? You should be. Thank you. Exactly. Yes. And I am 24. Just turned 24. Aww. I swear, I, I always forget how old Jasmine is because I feel like she has such a mature 
mind and demeanor. Well, both of you do. Yeah, both I, of you people do. say that, but with her, it's just like I don't know. Like I, I mean, just, she gets like everybody always thinks she's the youngest. Yeah, all the time. Like, like they, do you think I'm the like I? Is it more so how I look or how I act? I just think that you just are a little more reserved. Yeah, yeah. So you know, your openness makes you feel younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Know. So let me I ask you, that. how do you guys even feel about the type, like, millennial? Like, when you hear that word, does it mean anything to you? Do you feel like millennials get a bad rap? Like, First, I really didn't know what it meant. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so yeah, I remember, yeah, I when you're a millennial, that. I said, I was born in 1990. <laughs> and they're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So you're not even plugged in. So I'm not even plugged in, but when I yeah. first heard it and learned the term, I think it is a new wave. Like, I think our generation has really set a totally new wave. Yeah. Like, it's so like, different even from... entrepreneurs in high school, like, I'm just, like, thinking about... I mean, I'm only 24, so it's not like I... You know, I've been out of high school that long. But to think that some of these girls have, like... Or in males, have thriving businesses yeah. and have and it's so crazy how like we now validate success with like instagram as well and how they have like hundreds of thousands almost million followers on the internet like it's insane like i was so opposed to uh the on instagram i didn't get on instagram until like two years after high school like i was just like what is Which that is surprising you know for you to be so young you would think yeah you would i just could just not catch the wave like and i'm just not the type of person like if i'm enjoying something my first thought is not to pull up my phone and mm -hmm. like to record like that's good yeah so i've never been that so for someone to that to be on instagram and now i feel like with our business I have no choice but to be on it. So now it kind of drives me. I love it, but then I hate it at the same time because I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, because everything, especially with our business, has to be so calculated to pull in those customers and those followers and all that. Speaking of those customers, it's a lot. You guys have gotten your jewelry on some really amazing people. Oh, oh my thank gosh. you. It's, it's, it's like you just, okay, it so to make it timely, like, like y'all just had some jewelry on some people at the MTV. So what happened was, <laughs> it, so we got this, you know, uh, we didn't even tell our family, friends, like this is the first like secret we ever kept, you know, me, like I'm an open book. <laughs> so we got a um, DM from a guy who works with, he's a stylist and Joey he was Thayer. just like, Joey, um, Thea. Thea. And a DM for those. A DM. Yeah. It goes <laughs> down <laughs> in the DM <laughs> literally. <laughs> And even check the ones that you the got creeps. the corner, the crack, the crack. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You really, check you really those. never know. Like, most of, most of our business has been through DMs. Instagram. I feel like we've only had, like, they start in DMs and then they go to emails. But I can only remember, like, one or two emails. Like, our first was, of course, Fantasia. This was last year. Wait, well, let me go back to the emails, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, he sent the DM, and Jasmine was, Jasmine sent the text, but ja we all know Jasmine, I mean, Jasmine is horrible at texting, so, if she don't, if she, I sent her something, and she don't check it, I'm like, yo, check your text, but then, and it's me, you didn't see my text? I'm like, yo, you sent the five minutes, oh, I can see you some hours sorry. ago, and you just respond, but anywho, so she was like, check it, so we read it, and he said, for the VMAs, Ariana Grande's performance and I said for the dancers so you know I was like oh wow so then we sent it to him and of course like, what was that even the emotion that waves like what did that even when you I read mean, so those words it was like it was for um Ariana Grande's uh VMA's point where they have like over 40 dancers and initially because all our jewelry is handcrafted uh -huh. and you know starting out and I will say you know we don't have uh, inventory so everything we um we, we everything is made to order right so when first we just saw 40 dancers and he was like yeah bye in like two or three days me and Chanel was like oh my god oh my god <laughs> no, and I'm like oh my god you think we want to go like, what are we gonna do <laughs> and I was like girl we gotta get money from such and 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 such and
We are God fearing women. We really are. And we yeah. said it's gonna work. It always works out. We make that's our what we vow to each other is if we get any big opportunities or small opportunities, we pray about it first. Love we try it. not to freak out of something's mm -hmm. too big, something's out of our reach because we're like everything is going to work out without, you know, and we're prepared that there's going to be something, whether something's going to get lost in the mail, shipping is going to be a ridiculous price, but we're like, we know it's going to pay off. Yes. So, so we, he asked for a certain amount of pieces. We sent it out to him. Of course, it was just like, like she said, it was something had to happen. <laughs> so it got to him. And, you know, we didn't want to speak on it because there's been times when we spoke on something and it didn't happen or didn't come through the way we thought it would. So we just said we won't say anything until we actually see it. So Monday, when the VMAs aired, um, her performance came up and instantly we seen our earrings, like our necklace. And it's yes. so crazy and it, how we like, didn't even scream. I know. Jazz would call me. It was on there. I was like, I mean, are you excited about it? I like, think I try to just like keep it cool because I'm like. That was an amazing opportunity, but I know God has so much more than this. So yeah, I just you guys started out like, <laughs> and it's just like we just I just try to make sure like we gotta stay humble. Yeah, humble like and everything. Like that, that. But I was, I mean, as a and I know we've already had this conversation. That I'm not old, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm a little older than you guys. I definitely would say that, like, brag more. You know, mm -hmm. like it's it's. And not to be like conceited, yeah. but get used to, you know, being your biggest advocate and yeah. taking, especially being from a place like Charlotte, because you guys are native, just like mm -hmm. me. Yes. Um, Charlotte can, they're not used to hometown having certain levels of success, you know, right, so right. sometimes they can't even really relate to... Oh to that you know so don't feel bad uh -huh. you know what i mean like no you did that you guys work for it you yeah have done it you have done the work so, so nobody's crazy. gonna advocate for you like right, right 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 yeah Definitely. no you're, you're you're very true but and then know, we weren't even really, like feel all weird when i'm just like celebrating something it's just like we haven't even like work work like we have not stretched ourselves beyond that we know there's there's no more to give. So maybe that's why I'm just like... It's always something to give, Jess. That's great. Well, too, you always, when you, I always say ambition is like a blessing and a burden. Because yeah. to you, you're always wanting to do more. I mean, even somebody like Oprah, somebody like Beyonce and Jay-Z, like mm -hmm. everything they've done. Yeah. The crazy you know. thing about Beyonce is that um, Claire Summers, she's she was our first like big name supporter. Stylist, right? Yeah, she's yeah, um, CEO of Fashion Bomb Daily. Daily. And you know, it's so crazy. Um, we were both at work and we talk on the phone. Like, literally, we have conference calls all day. <laughs> I we mean, talk seriously. About, we go from A to Z of what we talk about. Like, we spoke so to the So, you all have before. regular jobs. Yes, yes we, we're, we're both nannies. Okay. So, so we're both in childcare. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was just like, dang, Shanetta, you know, it would be so dope. If Claire, like, we got on Fashion Long Daily or whatever. And she was like, I know. She was like, well, speaking, it's going to happen. I lied to you guys not. Like, an hour later, we had a DM from her. And I was like, dang, the power of the time. Yes. Like, it was so crazy. And yes. just her support, she has been phenomenal. I mean, she, like, I haven't even, well, I met her in passing when we went to Fashion Farm Day. I mean, I uh, went to Fashion Week last year at um, Angel Brink's fashion show. But, I mean, it was a lot going on. But just how supportive she is of people that she doesn't, she hasn't even technically really met yet. Just like, it just says a lot about and, her you know, her character. Like, I, I really, will say it's always been no shade to anybody else. But in my lifetime, mm -hmm. nobody helps you like another black woman. Like, definitely, black women, yeah, as much as we do get a bad rap sometimes, you know, like, right. nobody has ever helped me really, you know, get into a circle or whatever I need to do, like another black woman. So Definitely. I think that's awesome. And then like when Beyonce, when she first gave birth and she had on, I mean, it was like, I think her first picture she posted where it's like her body was just looking snatched. <laughs> she had on like a lot of layers of gold necklaces and Claire DM'd us asking, is this your stuff? And then we responded and was like, not yet. Girl. <laughs> okay. Not yet. 
that's not it. That's but it like, but just to have uh, that comparison to our stuff being on Queen B, or you know, just yeah. for her to think that highly that it would reach that level of success right. was amazing. It was just like wow. Like so, you see potential, and you know, certain people see potential things you don't see in yourself. Yes. And so you reach that, and then you just like, dang, you seen it all along. Yeah. So yeah, so it was and just that, amazing. That's the same way it can work too. That's what I'm saying about you know just this area that we're in. Mm-hmm. Um, some people can see it in you the whole time. That's why you need to brag on yourself. Yeah. You know what definitely. I mean? Because they may not give you that credit. You know, like you need to be like, I know I'm shit. <laughs> right, right, right. So sure. speaking of which, like you talked about your grandmother a lot. Mm-hmm. I know you guys were sharing with me. How you came up with the name? I'm not sure if we finished that. Okay, so A Marie is our niece, Braylon. Braylon. <laughs> um, she looks her such name, a cutie pie. Yes, oh, she is you. so adorable. She, She's the yes, so beautiful. So Braylon A Marie Foster. I named her. <laughs> and A Marie means um, bravery and courage. So you know, I was like. It was perfect because my brother's initials are BAF and hers was BAF as well. So I was like, it would go perfect. So, you know, this was in the midst of when we were really trying to figure out what we wanted to have as a, like what we wanted to do. We wanted, we knew we always wanted to be entrepreneurs, but jury wasn't even something we thought of doing. We wanted clothing, of course. Mm -hmm. So then like, that's when we were just like, oh, let's just see how it goes because we like all things fashion and beauty. So we could always start from somewhere. So with the name A Marie, you know, we want we did we weren't born with silver spoons in our mouth. We was raised through a single family and a single you know, our mother was a single mother. Our dad was present, but we lived with our mother. So we wanted something to where we can pass down generation generation Mm -hmm. and have in our family so we could create wealth for our family because I mean our family's beautiful and we pride we were raised prize your family. You know, family is everything. When you have no one else, you have your family. Those yeah. were what those were the values we were raised on. So we was like, what would be a perfect name that would fit what we want for our family, and then also something that's us. So Braylon, you know, um, is for we have two brothers and um, another sister, but you know, it was me, her, and my two brothers raised together. So she's the first um, grandchild of four of us. And she was the first of the third generation, or, well, my grandma's first Mm great-grand. So we was like, okay, what about Anne Marie? Or we were just going to call it Business 1936. We were just like, why don't we do something where it's, like, dedicated to grandma? Because, you know, she was, she wasn't, she didn't pass at that moment, but we knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to start something to where we could say, you know, we started this, so, you know, be up there <laughs> you know exactly. so you know we was just like you know the perfect name and we decided together a marie 1936 like the bridge and it's the, the bridging of the two generations i love it so you have the past generation and you have the present generation and this is something that we hope what well, we know is going to be in our family for years and then when braylon gets of the age to where she can take it over she it's something that <laughs> she can pass it down now i told just will she come to us and be like i don't want to run the family oh business. she ain't got no choice i'm like oh, oh you gonna have to talk you, you have to talk to the godfather <laughs> over yeah, here listen. you'll be done <laughs> so yeah so well, that's where it came from but i mean like it was hard it was we really didn't know what we wanted to do we started with beads but i mean what else we're not very traditional we weren't raised traditionally. We've always been very eccentric. I mean, you met Jasmine with a mohawk. Yeah. I mean, I changed my hair like a chameleon. <laughs> and, like, you know, I'm loud. Jasmine can be loud. So, I mean, like, you know, we are far from traditional. So, with beads, you know, like, beating in the South is huge. So, we wanted to kind of, like, fit in that lane. But we was just like, that's just not us. We don't wear beads. So, mm-hmm. we'll be selling something that's not us. So, then we thought of, okay, jury, jury, you know, sitting there. Jury, 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 jury. You're not getting dramatic or whatever. So then we were like, what about gold? You know, like grandma always gifted us gold. That was like something that we always had from her. Like she would always say, when I'm not here, you'll have something that I gifted you. Yeah, she probably didn't hurt you. Yes, like, and she... Don't well, lose she, anything. Don't lose she anything. She asked you something about love. You be like, uh... Quality was everything to her. Right. 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 I remember when I I lost a bracelet she gave me. It was a beautiful bracelet. It was a bracelet of the solar system, and it was a charm, but it wasn't charm. That thing popped off my wrist at summer camp. 
I had to go tell that woman that I lost that bracelet. <laughs> you know, she, if she... What did she do? She smoked, so here she go. <laughs> she loves smoke. She over here looking here she like... Goes, here I go, grandma, I lost that bracelet. <laughs> you know what, Shania? <laughs> I don't know why you wore that to camp. Yeah, I don't know why you... Do you have, do you <laughs> have it? No, do you have it? No, I lost it. And that was a song. And, I mean, movie. I'm looking at her. She was so, like, with that cigarette, she would be sitting there smoking and just be so. That's probably why I get it from. She was dramatic. Jasmine dramatic, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. My grandmother, she was. Lies, oh my God. you tell. No, she was dramatic, too. So she probably got it from my grandma. But yeah, like, that's where Amory came from. And I mean, we want to make this a empire. This is going to be well, an empire. Well, you are definitely... We're signing definitely off with jury. Way. We're going to tap into apparel. Some We're going to do some, some salt. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, this is going to be an empire. You're going to see Emery. Emery is going to be like Jessica Simpson empire. You got the purses, the shoes, the everything. clothes, everything. But and it's, it's going to be black oh, Bigger picture is just also, we just want to touch, of course, other little black girls that come from food stamps, low income, just like you know, our business is funded off of our two salaries, yeah. so mm -hmm. we don't have any outside help, and it's you know that's what we want because we want you know when we do make it or our definition of success, we want to be able to say that we did this and that you can do it too. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are, where you come from, because I mean we wouldn't grow up from the best part of town, but I mean it was where we grew up, and so yeah. we can't change it. We but, grew up in Drew Hill. <laughs> Anybody who's been in Charlotte, they know Drew. It, it was not the best, <laughs> but, but I mean, we were a home. product of our environment. Like, and that's the our parents goal, really raised say. us. And this is one thing I probably my dad. He said, "The only thing you have in life is your name. Yeah, make something out of your name." And that's something I always care with me. Make something out of your name. So it's just like you know, we didn't give you much. We gave you enough, but we, we did give you your name because yeah. you know that was gonna be question about like where you get the positivity from yeah like you know we my dad, i feel like just mom and dad and my grandmother oh my god she, she was herself. so independent she said don't you ever <laughs> ever <laughs> depend on no man <laughs> so speaking of which i mean you know because we definitely talk about business all day we want to get into the tea a little bit Yes. So, <laughs> I mean, just from that whole millennial mindset, because yeah. I mean, that's the topic of our conversation. Um, what's dating like for oh young gosh. ladies, it's especially so as hard. business owners? It's and, hard to like. I mean, dating is something new now. Like, yeah. you know, do you guys? Want I don't to even get think married? dating exists yeah, anymore. Love do you think married. dating exists? I mean, but I feel like every time you like since dating exists, it, you can always count it as what's your definition of dating? Yes. So okay, I would say like, like this. That's always the question. I feel like that's what complicates it. You just like right. what you mean, like <laughs> guy, girl, <laughs> together. Yes, yeah, I just feel you know, like or it's girl. Like, you're, you're I feel right. like it's so accessible. Like women are making themselves, so, and we've had this conversation, make themselves so accessible to men to where they feel like don't they to. don't have to work for the yeah. ones who. You know, really want you to show them why and then you I think it's an intimidation be, thing. Like me yes. myself, I feel like I intimidate a lot of people because I have such a strong personality when it comes to this is what I am going to do and this is what I'm not going to do. So it's up to you to you decide. Have a sense of self. Yeah, and it could be like you know, growing up, like I didn't have you know a boyfriend in high school. Like I was a late bloomer with that. Like I was so obsessed with my friends. Really. And, yeah, and she was like, like little miles early, like, <laughs> like I was. I, I, knew, I, I knew I was in love at sixteen. <laughs> okay. This is I my husband. Care, I could care. Like I had guy friends, but like I could care less. I'm like, you want to? Mm, me and my girls, we go, we go to town to oh, feel pizza. No, like, here go with me. I was so oblivious. What you want to do tonight? What you want to do? Yeah, I was do? pretty much married. At I was married <laughs> at sixteen. You couldn't tell me. I, I was one of them. Or, I'm like, I only had one man. I only had one real boyfriend though. So it was with the same person. I mean, you know, we went through our times. <laughs> you know, I'm not a bad. So, but you know, so you ladies still feel like you want to get married. Yeah, and, yeah. I know. I know as I've gotten. Options have changed for women, you know, and they mm -hmm. continue to change. And there's nothing wrong with marriage. I mean, I still think it's great. Um, yeah. But things have just changed. Yeah. 
mean? Women have more options. Like, I feel like yeah, we were having that conversation the other day. Like I go back and forth with, do I want to be like married husband <laughs> or have like a partner? Life partner. Yeah, like That's a life where partner. I mean. Like I go back and forth, but I just think that it's about like the person. Absolutely. That I meet. Like I because they gotta be a strong. I think marriage is man. like ideal. I will say that. But I'm leaning more, I think it's more so the connection you have with that person. Like, yeah. we always look at, like, what society thinks is right, what yeah. society sees as being the norm for dating. And I feel like you have to have your own love story. You have to have your own special thing with somebody. You have to create your own balance, your own thing, basically. So... Even if other people don't understand it, y'all understand it. But y'all yeah. have to be clear. Y'all right here. So you actually, and you actually gave me a little advice for that. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. She was just like, I'm surprised she was good. I get good advice. So <laughs> what's my problem? You just don't take your own. <laughs> Real sister. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I could care less. I mean, of course, like, my mom always sent me to school looking really cute. And people probably growing up was like, girl, you look so nice. Like, I always, like, was, like, the best dressed or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I didn't start to get my own personal style in which, like, I knew how to put stuff together, like, coordinate and stuff. Mm -hmm. Probably until until high school. Because before, like, I could care less, like, t-shirt, jeans, and some sneakers. Mm -hmm. And they didn't even have to be, like, a crate, like, Jordans or anything. Like, I could care less. Like, I was, like, playing outside, Barbie dolls. Like, I was really, like, I was a child's child. I uh -huh. could care less. But I feel like I got my biggest inspiration was from my sister, for sure. Because she was, oh. <laughs> uh, she like, seriously, she taught me. And, I mean, it wasn't even, I think it was just watching her. Like just how she, she was so, me cry. <laughs> <laughs> how she was just so confident in it, like she knew what like the trends were, even though when she was telling me it was like Spanish, I'm like, Okay, you can play Barbies. <laughs> like she would come in and like dress up my Barbies on a cutest outfit and then she would just leave. So I just had to play one by myself. <laughs> but like just that and my grandma, the way that she carried herself, my mom and my dad. Oh, yes. My dad, he, yes. oh my God, he, sure. he's a little, he's, he's quite suave. You can't yeah. tell him he ain't cute, like, right. till this day, like, <laughs> right. so, yes. He was, he was, like, classic, but, I mean, like, him, I think he really got us on to, like, labels and, yeah. like, he taught me the history of Gucci. Like, he was okay, just, so like, he really yeah, he was, because he, he did a report on him in high school, and he was, like, you know, the founder was Gucci O Gucci. And, you know, like, he started small. And, I mean, it was just, like, you know, I was surprised he knew this. Yeah. And then, like, even with Versace, like, you know, just telling me the backstory of how Versace was in the 90s. It was kind of interesting because I didn't know he was in fashion. And he loved Miami Vice, Yeah, he loved Miami so... Vice. He loved suits. He, yeah, wore, he yeah. wore, like, suits to school. <laughs> yeah. Bobby wasn't, like, them Urkel suits. It was, like, like Taylor. He yeah. Was, he Taylor game. Right, yes. for real. So, I mean, like, him, like, it was, you know... He, I forgot about him. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm not watching no way, probably. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll share this. Yeah, we'll, we'll share. share. Shout yeah. out to Dad. Shout out to Dad. I'm a Dad's girl myself, so I totally get that. <laughs> okay, so what's your favorite thing about being a woman? Mm. Power. Yeah. She said that fast. I was yeah. like, yeah, think about it. Women <laughs> are powerful. Yeah, and it's so funny. Thing. Women don't know their own power. A lot of them don't. They yeah. don't. But I but try like, to create goddesses. Yes, yeah. we are. Especially being a black woman. Oh my gosh, we're unicorns. Like yeah. seriously, unicorns in this world. Like it's just like we are. I just didn't realize how so powerful like, and how unique. powerful like just being black can be. I mean, of course, like you see it so much that it was came off as like a threat or something that you should be ashamed of. But it's just how. Just somehow so much power is in it. Like, it just still amazes me. Just, like, of course, being an entrepreneur, but being a black entrepreneur, it's just, like... And then a black female. And a know, black female entrepreneur. It's just, like, so... like, we're the top gender entrepreneurs. Like, isn't that dope? Like, but yeah, I love... Because we consume a lot, too, so why yes, not? Yes, right. right. I know, right? Created, but know. I think being a... Like, the best part about being a woman is just your power. Like, you, like... And strength. I'll say strength, too. I feel real. like... I, yeah, I feel like I, I'm really strong when it comes to a lot of stuff. Like, it takes a lot... I was about to say, to say, about to say something, because you're proud. <laughs> Do you think entrepreneurship, like, shows you, like, how strong you are? Mm, I feel like I had my strength before I became mm -hmm. an entrepreneur, but... Since becoming an entrepreneur, I mean, it definitely has, like, came out even more when it comes to just getting stuff done and knowing my own authority and just, like, and what I want and what I don't want, what I, you know, project our brand to be, where, you know, also having that relationship with God, too, so, yeah. I, I think being I an entrepreneur like grows your strength. Yeah. It helped me grow in my strength. I feel like entrepreneurs are born. Not yeah. created. No, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> it's a lot. Everybody, yeah, I it's mean, a lot to be an entrepreneur. Some people think they can jump into business, especially and it when you will make or break. You don't have the funds to <laughs> just the just like being positive for when you don't have that money to fund it, and the money comes out of nowhere, or just it's you know, just to stretch you, pull you, yes, break you, build you. Yes, all of the above. Yes, 
But I don't know, it gives me so much joy as well. Like, I don't look at ourselves as entrepreneurs. I look at us as bosses. Yeah. Like, that's how I see. Because like you say, like, you think of entrepreneurs, you think of boring. You think of so traditional. Like, oh, yes, I own a business. And, you know, it's yada, yada, yada. But it's like bosses, you create your own path. Like, you know, everybody can't be a boss. So when you're a boss, you walk your own way. And you create your own path. So I look at us, and we always say we boss chicks. You know, I mean... Right now you look at me like, oh my god, they mean it. But you know, <laughs> no, I mean, price I is going that. up. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's also, I mean, I, that's why I pulled that out and make sure that we say that. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, social media can make us feel all the time. Like, people, oh my god, they got it. You know, they got jewelry on these people, on VMAs, and this and this and that. Like, right, like, right. Exactly. Yeah, like for regular real. nine to five, sometimes <laughs> even longer. Yeah. We get, you know, sometimes we work seven days a week, like, and not even to fund our business, but just to live. Yeah. In addition to having a business, like this is probably the most, like, you know, I want to say trying time because it just, I don't know, we're also learning financial responsibility and how to budget and all of that stuff which you know not necessarily we, were, we weren't raised to know how to do so so we're teaching each other this now as young women so also, you know that's that's a hard. that's a huge thing i feel like people really need to because it's just like my friend um deandra if you're watching <laughs> she always says if you work there should be no reason why you can't do what you want to do or you know like you you go to work every day not to say I'm broke or you know I can't do this like so you really have to make sure your finances are in order and no you don't have to have a hundred thousand dollar paying job eighty thousand dollar paying job because you can even have that and still I mean, you be can go broke. to the Beyonce concert yes <laughs> no <Nosebleed. laughs> but I really feel like financing like being really in grip with your finances are really important and we didn't learn that till earlier and like we didn't grow up with parents like you know save 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 look I didn't either it was that. just I like get it I mean we're it. still learning we have yeah, not perfected it we have not perfected it but it's a learning process learning is a lifetime yeah earlier this year I had no plans of moving out on my own or whatever but it was just like a newfound independence because like I never had to pay bills like I had bills but I never had to pay them I never had to worry about the price of milk the <laughs> price of light bill like anything of that sort so it really was a big accomplishment because they helped me grow and I'm mm -hmm. continuing to grow and get used to it but that was like a huge accomplishment of mine and being able to maintain it you know do pretty well at you know keeping what I have actually having something of my own to show that was huge for me that was like a huge accomplishment oh and graduating college I was the first um person in our family mm -hmm. to graduate college what school did you go to? UNCC, English degree <laughs> so yeah I was the first in our family so to graduate I think more so, I'm like one of those people who can like really be like a great storyteller. Like I could talk for easy, I could talk for days. <laughs> and like, you know, just like, I think when I was in college, I had to write so much that I didn't do it for fun. But I always said I wanted to do something like a self-help book because you know, I feel like us as black women were put down so much, but we always have to depend on each other to build ourselves back up to realize like yeah people put you down but realize you're not your stereotype it could be a dope little like i could see a collab type of book or something mm -hmm. that displays maybe some photos you guys have done mm -hmm. or creating like some journals or yeah something. yeah definitely something, let me see something like that. yeah so i'm kind of a writer i did it when i had to <laughs> <laughs> Look, I never wanted to do anything with journalism. Uh -huh. You know, like, I couldn't figure out where that was going to fit in. I have a degree in journalism. Right, right. <laughs> And I was doing makeup for a living. Right. Like, nobody even knew. They were like, I don't know you have a degree, but as we can see, full circle, so you never know when it's going to come exactly. out. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, Miss Jazz, um, what have you achieved that has absolutely blown your mind? I think learning my 
my self-worth. I think that was my biggest achievement. I mean, I've always had high, like, confidence. Because, I mean, like, you know, I've, yeah, I, I think self-worth, that's, like, really important to me. And self-love, mm -hmm. for sure. Because, I mean, I always love myself. But, you know, you have those down. I'm a very private person. Even when it comes to displaying emotions, like mm -hmm. I just I, I didn't realize how unemotional she I was just hate until being like icky. I don't know. I don't know. Like with me, I'm just like, oh my god, to be or not to be. <laughs> yeah. That's just I, the now, question. Believe it or not, I'm but like, with her, her, I get like that could be like with Jasmine, how did that make you feel? I mean it is what it is, so Yeah, so I And I'd be like, I mean, you gonna cry? Like <laughs> I mean that would make you <laughs> She has I mean it is what it is. So yeah. logical. Yeah, I know. I, I just cannot shake it. <laughs> like that's no, just, like, I'm just who I am. But yeah, establishing yeah. my self worth and just knowing, like, what I should and should not accept, and you know, no matter who it comes from or where it comes from, just knowing that I don't, you know, I got this. Mm -hmm. Whether it's with or without somebody, and it will be will be done without regardless. Yes. So that was that's my biggest <laughs> thing. Okay. Um, I think we kind of talked about this already, but I guess we could say it more on like the daily basis. Like, how do you stay focused and positive? I ain't gonna say to the week. That's my motivation. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Like, is there nah, but for real, do? like you read in the mornings, or I pray you gonna be so morning. proud? Of me. Go ahead, go. Um, I I made it like a thing. Like before I get out of bed in the morning before I get in bed I make sure I pray the it's it's pretty much a similar prayer but I mean and I'm very specific I wanted to be very specific with my prayers like making sure and what I'm pray for make sure I'm ready to receive whether Amen. it's gonna be now or you know later so um, prayer I make sure I try to go to church I try to surround myself by positive people like shout out to all of our friends and supporters and our family, like they really, <laughs> they really have, like you know, especially since we try to be, you know, so humble or just not really brag about what we do. You know, I say my prayer and then I go to say my positive self affirmation. Do you think that the oils are just for? I mean, it really is for full body wellness. Yes, mentally, physically, emotionally. And I tell you, I didn't do it today. Aroma therapy. Yes, yes, I didn't do it today, and I just felt like my mind was all over. But I've done that like for the past week and a half, and I could like tell a difference. Like, Good. and I mean, just like I'm not even exaggerating. Like, you know. High five. <laughs> I'm not I even exaggerating. Yeah, like I literally I, mean, I just learned how yeah, I go. <laughs> <laughs> I and I it. you know, and I yeah, yeah, for sure. But that's how I I mean that's something I just started before. I was horrible. Like my focus was everywhere. So I mean I try to be more so into prayer of course and she's taught me to be more specific. So you know, I pray in the morning on my way to work and I've been talking to Jesus for about thirty minutes, you know, and it's all good, but that and then like my positive self affirmations and i mean like just having positive people around you is a must because people energy is very transferable mm -hmm. and i mean like that can just rub off on you and i mean you just that just messes up your whole mindset for the day and even possibly how you think about certain things so it's po it's really important to have positive people if they're not positive they gotta go right yeah. so yes agreed so my last question is kind of like five questions. It's really supposed to be four, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, what's something really beautiful about your brand and or yourselves? Something that you just find really beautiful about it. Anyone go? Or start? You can start. Okay. Um, I think of just being true to ourselves and original when it comes to a sense of of what we were raised on of just like making sure that's always our foundation of our family and, and like the morals that we were grew up to grow up to have and just that our brand is for not only for black women but for all women and to it's to make everyone to just pull and that's why our um little motto is like made for rule breakers and it's rule breakers with everything with life with fashion with relationships like you don't have no, to I like it so much <laughs> so I'm definitely a rule breaker yes. yes 
it's like you don't have to be in a circle box, a certain box to shop our brand. Like it's for anyone, whether and that's why like a merge of our two styles. Like she likes the gaudy statement, you know, just she Shanetta. Her name's Shanetta. <laughs> So, and, you know, myself, like, I'm more simple, um, you know, monotone, just, you know, minimalism, like, that's just me, and I think that's just going to be me for forever. But I just think that just because we can incorporate so many different women, or, like, when you look at our brand, you don't see a color, like, you can see anything, I don't know, it's just, I think, I mean, that's what makes it beautiful. I love me. it. I think what makes it beautiful to me, and it's like, you know, is combined with about us. I think what makes our brand beautiful is because it's us. Yeah. When we look at it, we see us. We see who we are. We see what we want to, the message we want to put out there. As individuals and, that, and as sisters. Yes, and I mean, that's good. That's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, like, it's just something that, and it's something we've done together. And I feel like, you know, that is beauty because you have so many sisters out here who don't really prize what they have. Like, if you have a sister, really take that as a jewel because that's like your God-given best friend if you yeah. don't even have a best friend. So I think that in our brand, just because of something we've done together and it represents us so much, I feel like that's the beauty within itself. Like, well, I definitely admire that. Aw, thank you. As an only child, like, I think it's really, really awesome. Thank, Aww, you. thank, thank you. you. I really do. Um, okay, so we're gonna start kind of wrapping up. Oh, Aw, darn it. <laughs> yeah. No, we're having so much fun. <laughs> camera conversation after this so you guys next time um make sure that you add the rest of chronicles conversation page yes and we sell tickets to the off-camera conversation because we like to get all the way into the tea we don't want folks businesses all online okay <laughs> so that's why we do please that. follow us at amory1936 spell it out on instagram and our website is amory a M E. Oh, well, I'm saying I, I can do something. Go ahead, finish. Yes, it's A M E R I E one nine three six on Instagram, and then of course Emory nineteen thirty six dot com. Bye and now. We are launching our new website. We worked on our new lookbook with Joy. She was a great help. Yay. Beautiful makeup. Um, so the that's coming this week. <laughs> I know she she did it before she retired. We're gonna pull you out. So of we got anyway. we got the Giselle's final work. <laughs> no, I mean I I still do makeup for my people. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. but I am expanding into other things, folks. So please let me out of that box. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sincerely appreciate you, ladies. Thank you, Thank so you for having us. us. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely continue to keep everybody updated on what you're doing, and we always have a home and a platform here with me. Awesome. So don't Thank forget you. the little people. No. Oh, no. and shout out to Daniel Hawkins. He was our first stylist that gave us like our big first job with Fan Styling Fantasia. So thank you, yes. thank you, thank you to you. And we thought that it was, was a catfish. <laughs> that was something. <laughs> it truly. <laughs> It, it meant the world thank to you us. So much. Thank you that so was, much. Thank you. For sure. That's, awesome. I think that's what. Thank you so much, sir. It taught us yeah. like I used to strive. Say this make a way back in the day. Yes. Aww. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. With the connect. With the connection. Hey. Good old Charlotte. <laughs> All right, folks. So next month, um, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. I am. Um,